So let's set up our Unity project so we can share with students, teachers, friends, family. Here I am inside of my Unity project. Not a whole lot going on. I just have one practice script. Doesn't matter. Step one, close Unity. Okay, I can do that. Step two, make a GitHub account on github.com and then download GitHub Desktop. If you're not familiar, GitHub is a famous website for sharing code and projects with people. Uh, you can ignore all this. Basically, we're going to make a new repository. And what that means is uh, a new bucket where we're going to store our files in. So I'm going to call this Dodge Puck Live repo just so I know it's a repo uh, the path doesn't so much matter um, for now I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for easy finding which is probably bad practice anyways um, doesn't matter the git ignore is very important make sure you choose unity for that because there are a bunch of files in your project it doesn't need to upload they're temporary files those kinds of things um, so there we go know where that's at use unity for the git ignore and hit create repository so you'll notice on my desktop here is my repo and inside of that is just a couple of git files well we need to put our project inside of here because for instance if i were to just make a new text document you don't need to do this and i'll just call this test and i go back to github desktop it says hey something changed within that folder it's watching this folder for me and i can now say oh added test doc commit to master and what that does is commit to this local repo not to the website so now it is committed locally and i'm ready to publish the first time you publish after that it'll say push so I'm going to publish that, and this is very important, uncheck keep code private because I want to share this with students and other people, and it's going to be published to github.com. It's not private, and the rest doesn't matter. Publish. It's pushing those changes, and lo and behold, if I go to... Uh, github.com I log in and I go to your repositories there is my new repo live on the internet now it doesn't have my project in it but you can see it does have all of these things so now let's get our project inside of here so we can push that so dragon is my D drive uh, the unity and then what I call it, oh, Dodgepuck Live is my actual project. I'm going to take all these files. When you see the assets, you know you're in the right place. So just copy that. And we're going to abandon this folder. We're not going to use it anymore. We're going to use the repo as our project folder. So I just paste that into there. Um, and keep in mind, while that's going over there, the next time you launch Unity Hub to um, run your game and actually edit your game, you're going to have to hit Add, and you're going to add this repo because it's going to be looking in the old location that is not being watched by uh, the repo repository. So once this is done, look at all that new stuff there. Let's go to our get up and look at that 26 changed files it noticed and I'll call this initial commit and we'll commit to master again that's committing to our local repo and now I can push those changes which is sending it up to the internet to github.com and now if I can find the correct window there we go let me refresh this page and look at that there's my entire project on github and so when I go to edit my project 
I don't want to edit the old version. I want to add and go to wherever I put that repo, which in my case is in here, Dodge Puck Live repo. This is my project folder now. It's also the repo. So I hit select folder and there it is. Now I'm ready to open it up and start editing. And every time I make a change within um, Unity or say I make some edits and I save it, I will have to uh, go to GitHub desktop and commit and push. Commit and push, commit and push. Um, so let's just, uh, I don't know, inside scripts, let's just add a script and call it delete me save it I don't have to exit unity I I already I did that so I could uh, move the files around but now if I go to github desktop there sure enough it says there's a new script and a meta file that came with it uh, delete me new script it's always nice to have a description commit and push so I've made those changes and now once that's done I can go to my repo I'm gonna refresh that and look at that it says inside of assets something with this comment 12 seconds ago happened let's go in there and sure enough 20 seconds ago right inside of here scripts hey look there delete me is right there so how do you share that then with other people if I was the teacher how would I look at my students work well if your students go to in they could do it from the website or from here um oh oh sorry too many little gray windows um repository repository settings this link right here that ends in dot git if they get you that link say i copy that as the teacher i can say file clone repository because I want a copy of their git repo on my computer and then I can just uh, under URL URL I can paste in their git link um, no it's not gonna like it because I already have here I'll sell it here here is a delete me repo it's typos whatever so here's my folder where I want to store that and I am pretending to get a student's git repo and I'll hit clone and now it's pulling from my students uh, repo so I'm still on my my own one but uh, where is my I got, I got way too many repos in here. Um, I cloned it. Where did it go? Maybe, but, oh, <laughs> it's probably this one because that's what it was called. Um, this is the student one. I probably should have done that with uh, another example like somebody else's. Um, anyways, so that, and every time the student makes a change, you can just come in here and fetch and it will update there um if i uh, close all this stuff um there's the delete del t meet repo there it is dodgepuck live repo i'm pretending that's my students one even though it's the same as mine but anyways that's how you would do that so you can clone other people's repo you can create new repos for yourself and push those changes and so i've done it before where if my students need help I can simply provide them with uh, a link to my own repository and say, hey, why don't you check your code against mine um, and just share with them. It's under the, this is where the link is here. Um, copy that. And then the students would go in here and say, file, clone, put in the link I gave them into an empty folder, etc." So hopefully that helps. Um, you can then share code or entire Unity projects with each other. Students can collaborate with each other and uh, have a good time.